Well, this is all a bit complex, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect anything other than it being complex. No, no, absolutely. Things. Yeah. So, so uh, well, what have we got, Alan? I'm, I'm looking at the, the front of the, the site is pretty much as we'd excavated two years yes. ago before we yes, were fully really stopped from doing anything. Yeah. yeah. So we've cleared all of that back to more or less where we were before, I think. Yes. Kind of that, yeah. Yep. And then the past couple of days we've had to add a machine in to take away a lot of the overburden and the 19th century demolition rubble and we're now going down into fresh archaeology that we hadn't yep. seen before. Yeah, and the, the, the brick flue system from the last reuse is beginning to define itself very well. You can see the, the burnt bricks in situ with presumably the flue system coming through towards us with a, an in-situ iron bar. Oh yeah, yeah, see that? So that, that goes with other iron bits that have been coming yeah, out, so there's, a, 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 pan there's a bit here, yeah. That. yeah. It's um, clearly about an inch thick, the iron plate would have sat in there, hammered on this end, and it's either dropped out or it's been something that's been during the repair process, it's been dropped on the floor. And there seems to be quite a few more of them down there as well so yeah so most of the sort of yellow stuff that we're seeing in the trench is related to the to the iron bits and pieces that we're finding mm. but the other big thing i suppose that was revealed yesterday we started to see yesterday <laughs> was something we didn't expect which is just no, that enormous no. archway um, that's right in the side of the building more or less the middle of the the pan house as we'd expected so what would but well last year when we abandoned we wanted to come in and find an ash door down at that corner there. Yes, we, we clearly didn't. No, well, we didn't find that. <laughs> um, what we have got though, and again, revealing the corner of this, it looked, okay, this is going to be something that's maybe maybe three feet wide, yep. maybe a bit less. Not three metres wide. But it's three metres wide, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> do you know what it is? No. <laughs> no, right, okay, that's fine. It's, it's an arch. It's, it's an archway. Um, it's interesting though, because it's, it's an enormous archway. It's not really of a height as we've got it at the moment that you could get through it. No, it, it's, it's not a functional doorway or anything like that, is it? No, that's, I mean... That's just curious. Yeah, even somebody as short as me is not going to be able to get through yeah. that doorway. And, and the blocking at the top is obviously Victorian because it's got Victorian handmade bricks in it. So, yeah. But the, all the ash deposits at the bottom go in underneath the blocking so yeah so this archway sits for, with the period of the original construction yes. of the pan house it's, it's undoubtedly a part of it the absolutely the thing is it's lost a lot of its counterweight from the back face of where the arch comes down so these things here so are the voussoirs well they're rough voussoirs but they should all have some mighty stones on the end there to stop the thrust from pushing the arch out yeah they're, they're missing on this side so this blocking in here has to stay. It's really integral, really. isn't it? To so, holding yeah, it up. I think so. We might be able to take out a couple of stones just to see if there's a cavity behind. I it. think some of them at the top are quite loose, so yeah. that, that's a possibility. Right. Yeah. Job for tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Lots of photography, lots of cleaning. Yeah. Recording and planning, and then that's us. That's us. Tomorrow. Are and we going to do any more? I think what we need to do is specifically keyhole into various areas. We put a, a small sondage down there, down the jam of this arch to get the contemporary surfaces at the bottom. We need to know the relationship between uh, the ash deposits, the brick stuff that sits on top of them and various other bits of the wall. So specific strategic sections will tell us a lot okay. for not a lot of effort. Okay, good, so that's all tomorrow's work then? That's all tomorrow's work. Excellent, thank you. Excellent.